Hello, my name is Daniel Drake. I'm an engineer and research assistant here at Pulse Technologies Research. I'm going to show you an unboxing of a PFG device and a typical installation for your computer. Here's the PFG box. When you open it up, first there's going to be the PFG 2Z on top. For this device, here we have the USB port. This is the power plug that connects to the outlet from your wall. And right here is the electrode pad cable outlet. First thing you're going to do with your PFG is you're going to connect the USB cord that is in the Ziploc bag of cables. You're going to connect the USB cord to your computer to install the drivers and to set the COM port. The, when you plug it in, initially the green light is going to turn on and down in the bottom right, it's gonna a window is gonna pop up saying "Installing Device Driver Software." Clicking on that brings up this window, and uh, here Windows is installing the driver software. Immediately after, the serial port will be set. If this is your first time doing that, it can take a little bit longer, if not a couple minutes. Okay. While this is going on, I'm going to pull up the rest of the cables. Here is the power supply. This is what's going to give power to your PFG so that you can actually feel the electricity coming through the electrode pads. And just to be clear, this green light will come on even though the power is not plugged into the wall. So. Plugging in the, the power to the wall and then to the right of the USB port on the back. Okay. Alright, this now has the power hooked up to it. And on the computer screen, you can see that the serial port has been set to COM92. I'm going to close out of this window. I'm going to open up my previously installed PFG software by double clicking on the desktop icon. Okay, a window has popped up and it says that it could not connect to the PFG device. Press OK and another window pops up saying click auto detect port to automatically detect the COM port. So you're going to click on this button right here and click OK. And right now it's going to search all of the computer ports until it finds the PFG computer port. OK, now it has found it successfully. So I'm going to hook up the electrode pads to myself to make sure that when I press play for the first time that I can feel the electricity coming through and that my software and PFG is working correctly. This is the electrode extension cord. This is for maneuverability. You're going to plug this and into your P PFG into the outlet in the front. When you plug it in, you're going to have to make sure that it snaps all the way and has a solid connection. Then you're going to pull out your electrode pad cables. You can tell which ones those are by the red and black leads that are on the tip. Okay, here we go. 
These are the two ends, red and black electrode leads, and uh, the extension lead. You're going to plug in this to your extension cable, and again, make sure there is a solid snap when you push this in. Okay. Once you have that connection secure, you're going to move on to your electrode pads by pulling out the pad the electrodes. You're going to plug the red one into a lead from the pad and the white one next. Once you have this connection, you'll then attach the electrode pads to your body. I'm going to attach these to my forearm for demonstration purposes. Okay. This has been applied to my body, and now I'm going to start out with a low frequency to make sure that I feel it. Low meaning 1000 and below, you can definitely feel the frequency coming through. When I press play right here, it is this triangle. I can also press press play right here. The red light, well, this light will come on. It is going to be red and that's going to indicate that signal is coming through and that there is power coming through. This, if you do not have the power plugged in, this light will not come on and you will not receive any power through the electrodes. So I'm going to press play on the first frequency and you'll notice my arm clench up. Here we go. Okay, my arm is moved, the red light is on, and I'm definitely feeling the electricity coming through the pads. This has been a very successful installation. Now that I've confirmed that it is working, I'm going to press stop and then go on with the rest of my protocol. Thank you. This has been an introduction to PFG software.